Hi friends, welcome back. We have been uh, working on uh, clipping and uh, clamping circuits and uh, for ease of understanding we had been using sinusoidal signal as input but in reality we are interested in how these circuits behave when the input is pulses or a train of pulses or for uh, simplicity we can say a square wave as far as a clipping circuit is concerned it is made up of a diode and a resistor and hence where the wave shape does not make much change and hence the clipping circuit behaves the same way as we discussed for uh, sinusoidal but the clamping circuit does make a difference because there is a series capacitance here and the input shows sudden changes and the basic problem of capacitor is for charge the capacitor current has to flow and current cannot be made to flow instantaneously and hence the voltage across capacitor cannot change instantaneously so there are two equivalent circuits uh, when the diode is conducting and when the diode is not conducting when diode is conducting the resistance of the diode is rd which is very very small compared to the load resistance we have and when the diode is not conducting the reverse uh, diode resistance is so large that it can be neglected when compared with the rl when the diode is conducting the diode resistance is so small compared to rl that the the shunt uh, effective shunt resistance is almost equal to rd and hence the time constant of this circuit is rd times c and when the diode is not conducting then the time constant will be rl times c and because rd is very very small compared to rl then tf is very small compared to to r okay now let's begin our journey when the input is applied so before we start the input was zero and the output was zero and at zero suddenly input raised by voltage v and as the property of capacitor says it cannot change the voltage across it instantaneously because change in voltage across uh, resistance means the current should flow current should flow means the charges from one plate to other plate should be displaced and that takes time and hence no time is given for the charges to displace therefore voltage across capacitor is going to remain same and hence this point voltage also suddenly rises by this value v and rising this voltage does not make any difference to the diode because this voltage becomes high n type is high and p type is low that means the diode is reverse biased and therefore change in this voltage doesn't make the diode to conduct and hence the output voltage also maintained to raise to v this is not going to disturb the sudden rise here okay then once the diode is off once the voltage is high the diode is off so we have this circuit and now the capacitor starts getting charged because of this current flowing and because this resistance is large slow current is flowing and hence this charging is slow and as this is slowly getting charged this voltage gets slowly reduced so we get a slow reduction in the output and then once we reach this point then the input suddenly drops by 2v and therefore the output also should drop by 2v once we are here then the voltage here at the output is negative and here we have zero that means diode gets forward biased and therefore we have resistance rd and because of which the capacitor starts charging in this direction 
so this gets positive this gets negative and because the rd is very small the time constant is also very small and hence the charging is faster and compared to this one the charging is faster and because this is getting charged this output gets reduced because the output is input minus the capacitor voltage yeah input is constant and capacitor voltage is changing exponentially and hence this output also changes exponentially we are here now and then suddenly input raises by 2v and therefore the output also should raise by 2v then the voltage here is positive the diode is reverse biased so now we are in this circuit and as long as the input is high the discharge is at a slower rate controlled by rl then sudden drop so sudden drop gets down here and then it gets uh, discharged and then sudden rise then slow discharge then sudden fall now once it reaches this point diode cannot switch on and therefore there won't be any discharge and it keeps this way so what is it doing is as the configuration of diode says then it is negative clamping circuit and because there is no voltage connected here that means the negative peak is clamped at zero whereas uh, for a resist for a sin sinusoidal input some quarter of the cycle was responsible for this charging because the rate of change of input was uh, slower compared to this charging process and hence the whole capacitor was getting charged with input in some quarter of the cycle and that way the after that quarter of the cycle directly the output was getting clamped but when it comes to square wave it cannot happen like that because this cannot get charged in one cycle or on half cycle or quarter cycle whatever you talk because of sudden changes so it keeps doing this way so for uh, uh, simplicity we have shown this so that uh, in a given uh, space i could make sure that it has reached the required results but this may take the number of cycles depend on the frequency of this square wave and this toe if the toe is very much smaller than this width of this pulse then it can be faster if this is slower than this then it will take more time to reach so it all depends on the frequency of this and the time constants of the two circuits so that's a interesting thing what happens when the clamping circuit is given with a square wave it doesn't uh, reach the clamped level instantaneously but it takes some number of cycles to reach there so whenever we are working with the uh, clamping circuits and if the input is square wave or train of pulses we should ensure that some amount of time we should leave before we assume that the required output is available so some way we need to leave some time and ensure that after some time only 
we assume that the circuit is working properly so that's how the other circuit designs have to be taken care when we are working with the clamping circuit and train of pulses so that's it for now uh, many more things to come with the uh, pulse circuits so till then take care see you bye